Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, make sure you subscribe before you leave. I would really appreciate it. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new Juvia's Place foundation. Let's just jump right in. I'm so pumped for this. I got the shade Rio, I believe. Is this Rio? This is the color. There she is. She's creamy. Y'all should be proud of me. That looks like my color. Oh my god, okay. So I'm gonna apply this with a brush. I also prime my skin with the CoverGirl Pore Minimizing True Blend Base Business. This is really good. I'm scared! Let's just apply it. Oh, this is thick! Oh, big. Oh, she's thick. This is like cement. Hold on. Wait a minute. It's really full coverage. You know what? This is giving me Huda Beauty foundation vibes. Oh, hell no. What is happening? It just covered my whole face. This shit is... Do you guys... Are you seeing this? Look at the difference. Alright, y'all know I'm two-toned, so... Don't freak out in the comments like, that's not your shade, that's not your shade. I mean, obviously, this is a really yellow color on me, but like... I'm very two-toned and I am in front of a ring light so I don't want to hear it in the comments y'all know I can make a foundation work say I can't say I can't it feels really nice like when I first applied it I thought it was gonna feel like cement maybe cement's not the best word I thought it was gonna feel like makeup you know like super thick super heavy I'm blending this out right now it's covering literally everything on my face it feels so good it feels like nothing like a little bit more around my mouth just a little yo this is so full coverage this is like insane and you know what it reminded me of the um huda beauty one because of the brush they sold it with i think that companies sell it with the tool that's gonna work best with it so i, I had a feeling this was gonna be full coverage i've been watching people use it and it looks really full coverage so as you can see we have um two visitors here and nobody told them to come here I'm gonna go over with my sponge just to like make sure everything's like really bl blended out. I have really dark hyperpigmentation around my mouth and I never can quite cover it. This is like really covering everything. I secretly like looking more yellow and I know that sounds kind of weird but and that with my skin tone looking more yellow once I you know like blend my concealer and everything like and, and it comes together I look more warm. I don't look as um washed out you know what i mean i honestly don't have a problem with it i do look crazy at first but like these foundations usually end up looking really good on me hold on i need to get my mirror <sighs> i'm shook if this is like crease proof this might be the new like the new wave i look how much i still have on my hand i still have all of this on my hand i'm so shook by how like full coverage this is now I want the concealer! I'm so mad I didn't get it. I don't know if I'm gonna buy the concealer because I honestly have so many concealers. And you know what, I might buy the concealer because at this point it's really amazing. Until I buy the concealer, I'm just gonna use my regular concealers. Okay, you guys, so I finished my makeup and this is what I finish with. I know you're gonna ask what I have on my lips, so I'm just gonna tell you right now. I have on this lip liner, it's a NYX matte lip liner in Club Hopper. It's like a really pretty brown. And then I also blended that out with this color from Fenty. It's the matchstick and truffle. It's like honestly the only one I ever use. NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Praline. No, in the shade Madeline. Yeah, that's what I use. Um. As you can see, it's delicious. This foundation 
did not disappoint. I didn't buy this thinking I was gonna like it. My skin looks airbrushed. I feel like I don't have to edit my pictures. Like My face is definitely not one color, which is why this color looks so ridiculous when I first put it on. But as you can see, I think it looks really good. I am really, really feeling this foundation. I definitely am going to buy the concealer now because I have no doubt the concealer is going to be really good because if the foundation looks this good, like the concealer is probably amazing. If you have tried this foundation, let me know what your thoughts are. And also, if you guys think there's like a better shade for me than this one, I honestly don't have a problem with this one. I know, you know, like during the process, it looks a little bit wild. Um, but to me, like I don't really care as long as it looks good in the end. Honestly, like foundations look crazy on me a lot just because of my skin tone and my undertone so like it's not perfect but it's not terrible either you know what I mean I don't really have too many issues with it I'm sure someone in the comments is gonna have an issue with it which is fine you can have you can feel what you feel about it I didn't even set my face like usually I feel like after powdering and everything that I need to like go in with setting spray my skin doesn't feel it doesn't feel tight it doesn't feel caked I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see what my skin looks like this is what my skin looks like I'm literally sitting in front of a window right now so there's natural sunlight coming in and then I have a ring light in front of me so this is pretty much um, what you see is what I really look like in real life I don't have any creasing I made sure to set my face really good I can't believe it looks this good I can't believe it looks this good like I really can't I'm always scared to try new foundations cuz like ooh, like what feels it feels heavy in my face, but this feels so good. Probably in my top two now. <laughs> Formula is very light. It's almost moussey, I would say. It's like a thick, thick moussey like consistency. If you guys haven't tried it, I suggest you get your hands on it. It actually was really affordable. I'm just, Juvia really did a great job with this. I can tell they put a lot of work into it and the shades themselves are amazing. I could go on and on about how like amazing this foundation feels. If you're wondering what foundation I'm wearing on Eid, it's this one because my pictures are going to be bomb. There's no debate about that. Make sure you subscribe down below and hit the bell so you get all my notifications. You really don't want to miss this next video. It's going to be my ethnicity tag. I'm really excited. I'm going to have my mom in the video with me and yeah, we're gonna we're gonna spill the tea. So um, make sure you hit the bell, and I'll see you guys in my next one.